Hi, this is Rajesh Francis from the Analytics Specialist Solutions Architect team at AWS. In this demo, I will walk you through the new query scheduler for Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift is a fully managed petabyte scale data warehouse service in the cloud that allows you to provision a cluster with just a few clicks and start ingesting and analyzing your data immediately using the query editor. Many of our customers perform tasks such as schedule a long-running query, ingest data, refresh a materialized view, or even unload data to the data lake. Today, they use AWS Glue, AWS Lambda, or Cron jobs to automate these tasks. Now, with the new Query Scheduler, you can set up a schedule right from the Query Editor console or using an API for any SQL statement to automate these tasks. You can set up the run frequency to match your business needs using the calendar UI or in a cron format. To monitor the schedules, you can enable Amazon SNS notifications to email or trigger a Lambda event for subsequent processing. The scheduler can also be used from console or through the data API. You can invoke the query scheduler using the schedule button on the query editor console. This enables you to test the SQL statements before scheduling the task. Here, I've set up some sample tasks that you might want to automate using the query scheduler. For example, the daily sales report, which could be a long running report, refresh customer data and load incremental catalog sales, refresh a materialized view that I've already created, unload data to a data lake for further consumption, or execute a stored procedure to archive system tables or refresh an external schema from the glue catalog. To schedule the queries, both the IAM user defining the schedule and the IAM role associated with the schedule must be configured. Here, admin user is the user I'll be using to schedule and uh, we need to set up the assume role inline policy for this user and for the role associated with the schedule which is Redshift Query Scheduler I need to assign Amazon EventBridge full access and Redshift Data full access to the role. You can refer to the Amazon Redshift documentation for scheduling your query for more details on setting up the policies for the user and the IAM role. Now you can schedule the SQL commands based on your business requirement using the schedule option. First, let us schedule the commands to refresh the customer data and load incremental catalog sales. For that, choose the Schedule button. When you choose the Schedule option from the Query Editor, you'll be taken to the Schedule Query screen to be able to enter various scheduling options. First, we need to enter the IAM role that will be used for this schedule. This is a IAM role that was configured earlier. We'll choose Redshift Query Scheduler. For authentication, we can use either Secrets Manager or Temporary Credentials. In this case, we'll use Secrets Manager. I've already set up a secret query scheduler, which we'll go ahead and use that. And we'll enter a database name, which is Dev. And we'll enter a scheduled query name for this, which is Ingest Customer Sales. The query from the query editor will be carried over to the SQL query section here. You can edit or upload a totally new query or a command in this section. For scheduling options, you can set either run frequency or cron format. I'll use run frequency and I'll set it to run every day at 19.15 UTC time. You can also monitor the query using SNS notification. Now, I already set up an SNS topic for daily sales report, and we'll go ahead and use that to monitor this query. Once the schedule is saved, you will see the list of schedules created under scheduled queries. Here, you see the schedule ingest customer sales we just created. You also see refresh materialized view, unload customer trends, and those are two other schedules that I've created. Let's take a look at ingest customer sales. Now, as you can see from schedule history, this query executed around 7.15 p.m. UTC, and it was successful, and it took about 6.6 .6 minutes to execute. 
The statements that were executed are the ones that I scheduled to ingest master data and catalog sales using the copy command. Now, we also set up an SNS topic for notification and monitoring on this query. So we will see the SNS topic as well. And I had already gotten an email for this successful query execution. So this is the email you'll get for this successful execution. You can use the query scheduler both from the console and using API. Let's take a look at how you can view or download the results of a long-running query using the Data API. Here I've got a report called Daily Sales Report, which is a long-running query, which I've already scheduled and also executed. This is called the Daily Sales Report. And when you look at the schedule, you can see from the schedule history, there is a successful execution. The start time of October 12, 6 p.m. UTC. It took about 0 0.01 minutes. To view the results of this query, you can go to the command line and execute a data API command, redshift data, get statement result, to retrieve the results of the query. Here you will use the schedule ID of the query from the schedule history in the console. You see the schedule ID in the data API command matches the ID from the console, ending with C35. The results will be displayed in the command line once you execute this statement. You can also choose to send the results to a file for downstream processing. Here I'm routing the results to dailysalesreport.csv. Now you can view the results of the query using the VI editor or upload to an S3 data lake to be shared with the consumer of this report. If you want to change an existing schedule to execute at a different time, you can change the schedule by choosing edit and setting a new time for the query to execute. In this example, let us choose ingest customer sales and uh, choose edit. And you can set up a different time for this schedule to execute. Now I'll change to 2335. You can also change SNS notifications in case you need to choose a different SNS topic and save the changes. Now this schedule will run at a different time that we just specified. So with this, we have seen how Amazon Redshift makes it easy for you to schedule and automate various types of tasks using the new query scheduler. We encourage you to start using the new scheduler now to simplify your automation processes.